Eyewitness News with George Sells, Kathy Adams, Chuck Gatica, Fred McLeod, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. Here's what's happening. At first, everybody thought it was a joke. Somebody's setting off firecrackers in the post office at Edmond, Oklahoma, outside Oklahoma City. But soon it became clear that it wasn't a joke at all. It was a massacre. Shattered relatives were discovering that someone in the post office had killed 14 people inside, then taken his own life. That somebody was 44-year-old Pat Sherrill. He shot everybody in sight. He had a 9mm pistol and he started uh, shooting an employee. Walked back a little ways on the, on the right in a booth. There were three bodies. You walk back a few feet further and there are four bodies. And you go back a little bit further and there's another couple. You come back up the other side. There are isolated bodies. You go back in the back room where they're having a break. There, there are donuts and coffee on the table and a dead body laying there. And why did Pat Sherrill do it? He was a postal worker himself. He had been told he might be fired today because of poor work. Seven other people were wounded. Two Detroit policemen walked into a terrifying barrage of submachine gun fire tonight and lived to tell about it. Just before 8 o'clock, a suspected drug dealer and at least two companions drove past the corner of Collingwood and Hamilton, apparently to attack a rival dealer. Some officers were on routine patrol. They heard gunfire. Then they saw a car with an individual get out, was shooting the Uzi, turned and shot at the police officers. They gave out a description, chased it, and this is where they ended up. Police dogs lost the scent of the suspects in Highland Park. But officers have a good idea who was driving the car and are now dusting that vehicle for fingerprints of his companions. Although Detroit police pumped six slugs into the car, the suspects seemed to get away and hurt, as did police. Well, maybe we've got some good news about the police situation here in Detroit. For the first time in years, the size of the Detroit police force today rose above the 5,000 mark. That happened when 75 police academy graduates were formally sworn in at the State Theater downtown. This is a reversal of huge cutbacks during the recession years. At today's ceremonies, our Woody Willis asked Chief William Hart about the rash of random shootings. Is it tied to the drug trade? No, we were having random shootings before drug became a prominent uh, cause of crime in America. Uh, America's fascination with guns. If you check those nations like England, Canada, that don't allow their citizens their own handguns, they don't have the shootings. Hart says many Detroiters have a mentality that says, I'd rather let police catch me with an illegal gun than let a crook catch me without a gun.